Hey guys, Nash here. So many people are waiting for Android Pie update and here we have Android Q first test build running in my OnePlus 6. So first we thought Fusia OS Android Q is going to look like this. But the reality is different. So first thing first, this room cannot be used as daily driver as most of the things are broken in this room like brightness slider is not working, you can't install apps because there is no play store, you can sideload apps like chrome but that won't work properly. The camera is working, you can take photos, dialer is working, as you can see the dialer looks same like android pie, there is nothing new here. So in notification drawer, brightness slider is on the top and all the tiles are looking similar like Android Pie and there is nothing new here also. Now let me just go to about section and let me show you this is actually Android Q test build. So as you can see this is Android Q, the security patch is 5th January and there is a custom kernel here and you can check this build number which confirms it's an EOSP ARM64 build. Apart from this we have something new in our power menu. So now when you press your power button you will see this new button called emergency button and when you tap on that you can directly contact to your police or any other emergency services. It basically means this feature will be available in Android Q and that's a good thing. And also we have one more new feature is in the display section we have new colors option you can choose different kind of colors for your screen we have natural we have boosted and we have adaptive so natural is of course the normal one when you tap on boosted it will pop all the red green and blue colors just like samsung phones to make it more vibrant and colorful and then we have these adaptive colors so this feature works like auto brightness, it will adapt the colors depending where you are, if you are inside or outside, so that's how it works. And I know what most of you are thinking, what is that search bar that looks like KitKat? This happens whenever we have new version of any Android version. Because these builds are created from AOSP, you find this vintage Google search bar in every new build. So apart from that Wi-Fi is not working but Bluetooth is working, mobile data is working, you can call someone or text someone easily but I would still say this room is not ready yet, we have to wait for some more time until at least Pixel 3 get first developer preview of Android Q. So if this room is so broken why did I install it on my phone? I installed it for you guys so you don't have to waste your time testing this Android Q builds. So that's the reason I installed most of the stuff to let you know guys so you can save your time. And in case still any of you want to install this ROM on their phone, I will leave download link with step by step instruction in the description box below so make sure you check that out. And please like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel. This is your friend Nash signing out and I will see you tomorrow.